Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny. And in this video, I will be talking about the simple problem C type of code versus round 7, 3, and division 2. You can see over here. So, in this problem, there is a city that is given to us, and there are n plus 1 villages in this city, and uh, there are connections between the villages. That is, there are n minus 1 roads from like from the ith village to the i plus 1 village uh, such that i plus 1 is going to exist and there are n special roads or you can say the extra roads that are also present and uh, for each extra roads that is whether it is going to from the ith road to the n plus 1 road or from n plus 1 road like uh, not the n plus 1 road it is like n plus 1 village okay so if you are getting confused no need to worry about i am going to explain all these things with the help of diagrams so that you are going to feel much more easier that is there are total n minus 1 roads between the adjacent villages numbered like i and i plus 1 and there are n extra roads like if you focus over this diagram these are the n minus 1 roads if there are like n equal to 4 that is being given to us and this is the n plus 1 village okay and this is n equal to 4 and there are n minus 1 roads between the adjacent village number and also there are n extra roads being described by sequence okay so what is that sequence you can see that uh, we have the sequence like either from 0 to 1 that is ai is varying from 0 to 1 right and if ai is 0 the ith of these roads goes from the village i to the village n plus 1 suppose ai is 0 it means that it is going to have this direction like it is going to have a directed road from first village to the n plus 1 village and uh, what about if it is 1 so the direction is going to be reversed from n plus 1 village to the ai village okay that is ith village you need to be much very much careful uh, while understanding this one and there is like mocha plans to go hiking with the turkey as this weekend to avoid this trip being boring they are going to go every village exactly one okay so you need to find uh, some sequence of roads or you can say some sequence of villages such that you are going to follow this path and every node or every village is going to be uh, visited exactly one time. Note that the letters, the characters in this bold letters exactly one. That is, you are going to follow some sequence of path visiting all these villages exactly one time. How we are going to find some path? With the help of these some certain given conditions given by this array A. Okay, so let's try to find it out. Okay, you can see that the uh, only advantage that we have is like the this directed edge. Like when we are able to come up to this state, we can easily go to all these villages with the help of these directions, right? Okay, so we'll try to do that thing. Suppose there exists a arrow from n plus one village to the first village. If we if there exists this arrow, like I'm assuming the, uh, this thing, okay. So you need to assume this one also. Like suppose, let, let's say there exists a directed edge from n plus 1 village to this A1. And if it exists, then what we are going to do? We are going to use, uh, write the pattern as first we are going to visit this n plus 1. Then we are going to visit this 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is the correct sequence of path that we are going to do. And you can see over here, every village is going to be visited exactly one time. Note that uh, we can start and finish at any villages. Like we are going to choose any as village as our starting point and we need to visit exactly one time all the villages. Okay, suppose there exists this pattern like from A5 to A1. In like if there exists this one, so in this case A1 must be 1. Like if you focus this one, like if A1 is 1, it means that there is a road from N plus 1 to the village I. Suppose that A1 is 1. It means that there exists a directed edge from A5 to A1 and if it exists, we are going to use this our answer and this is truly correct because we are going to visit this one, then we are going to come to this one, then go to all these adjacent nodes with the help of these directed edges. Okay, so if you look over my solution, it is like if array of 0, okay, so if array of, array of 0 is 1, what I am going to answer dot pbn plus 1? and just push back all those 1 to n villages so the solution is like very much simple if a1 like first element of this array is 1 the very much simple thing is like uh, if it is 1 so there is an edge from this one to this one visit this one then come to this one and come all the visit all these villages so what about uh, the case like a1 is not 1 it is 0 okay 
now it is zero it means that there exists the edge from this one to this one okay now suppose that for all those values of this ai suppose there exists zero there exists one like first let's assume that all are zeros okay it means that there is an edge from this type to this type this type to this type and this type to this type okay so if it if it happens then what we are going to do what will be our sequence of path okay so our sequence of path would be like visit a1 use this directed to visit a2 use this directed edge to visit a3 use this directed edge to visit a4 and now use this directed edge because a4 is zero it means that there exists a directed edge from a4 to a5 so use this to reach out to this a5 right so our sequence of path will be a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 right and what about there exists at least one zero in this array a then what we are going to do this is going to be like really much very important okay suppose there exists zero there exists let me use another color zero zero one so then exists zero then what we are going to do is like let's first map out the edges it would be like this one it would be like this one it should be like in the reverse direction and it should be like this one then what should be our mapping like first uh, i will visit this a1 then use this directories to visit this a2 now it says that if i will be able to visit this a3 and if i will be able to visit this a4 and if i will then come back to if I, yes this is a valid step but there exists some more tricky step like if it is one what we are going to do is like when we encounter the first time once then what we are going to we are going to use this step visit a2 to a5 now a5 is visited now come back to a3 because it is one and visit all those edges like suppose here i have taken this as zero what about if it is not zero and it is one okay so let me erase this edge and if it is one then you are going to face some problems like uh, the edge is also like this one okay so in this case if you try to follow the edge like a1 to a2 then a2 to a3 and a3 a3 to a4 but you are not going to visit a5 though so this will give you a wrong answer right so whenever you visit like whenever you encounter the very first time the value as one you are going to use jump from this a2 like the previous zero to a5 i have already visited it then come back to this a3 then visit all the next cities this is going to be like very important and all the cities are going to be visited like whenever you encounter the very first time the one use this as a key advantage like uh, take out the previous zero go to the a5 like n plus 1th village and come back to the uh, current uh, array value which is containing one the very first time when you visit the when you find out the one in the array okay so let's uh, check it out like one thing also that i should have to mention like uh, if the answer does not exist print minus one this is a foolish statement because we are all we are always going to get the answer as like some valid path okay so like uh, if array of zero is one we are going to use this path otherwise find the first occurrence of this one use this as your key advantage uh, like start for uh, like pushing back the village number you can see that from 1 to this uh, like index less like less than ind i am pushing back the i plus 1 because it is a like nodes are numbered from 1 okay so 0 to ind push back the village number now push back the n plus 1 that is we are going to move up from this a2 to this a5 directly that's why i have used this statement like answer dot pb n plus one then again from ind to all those nodes push back the node numbers okay that is i'm going to visit come back uh, from e5 to this e3 and visit all those nodes that are present to the right of it and finally print out the answer this will give you all test cases passed so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video